Hi and welcome to part 6, uh, showing the restoration of my 1960 Morris Mini Minor. I'm John in Milton Keynes in the United Kingdom. Ok, the last video I showed you, um, the bodywork was uh, complete as far as all the welding and the painting, but now what I've done since then is quite a lot of work. Um, I've completed uh, cutting back and polishing the paint, and as you can see it's a really nice looking cherry red, so I'm just going to walk around the car. Just to show you the finish which I have. Now this finish is is uh, as good as I want for the time being. But when I finish getting the car assembled, then I'll give it another quick polish to make sure um, that the final shine comes through. Uh, but so far, I'm quite pleased with it. There's uh, there's evidence that the paint has taken really well to the car. Uh, it's been prepped, um, I, I think, quite well. I've done all, all the prep work uh, thoroughly. And um, so anyway, what I've started to do, as you can probably tell, is start to assemble the car and I have both the front and rear subframes uh, in place. The front subframe is the original subframe, which I've, uh, I, it was in such good condition, all I've had to do to it was have it shot blasted and uh, powder coated in, in uh, satin black. So you can see it's uh, looking quite nice and tidy now. Uh, I started also to put the brake lines in place, as you can see there, and I've used copper nickel brake pipes as opposed to just copper brake pipes. The master cylinders and as I look around the car, show you a bit more. On the driver's side, I've also included the um, the bump stop, this bit here, new bump stop. Also, I have a Mark II steering rack as opposed to a Mark I steering rack. That's really the only upgrade on the car. Uh, it gives a better turning circle, a tighter turning circle than the Mark I steering rack. And I've refurbished both the upper and lower suspension arms and put those in place. And also um, the tie bar as well, as you can see there. So that's, uh, that's the front end. Uh, so what I need to do to the front um, at this stage would be to finish off the brake lines of course and to um, complete assembly of right and left um, hubs and to install drive shafts. Okay, now moving on toward the back of the car. As you can see temporarily I have the steering wheel, uh, steering column in place. That was just so I could line up the steering rack but that's going to come out for refurbishment at a later stage. I now have um, Put the handbrake in place as you can see but before i had the handbrake in place obviously i needed to make sure the rear of the car was um, more or less assembled underneath so i'm just going to try and get the um, the camera underneath the car to show you underneath um, okay so i have a new heritage subframe the other one wasn't a genuine subframe and it was quite badly rotted away so i've replaced it with this this um, genuine heritage um, subframe as you can see, I've also started to assemble the brake lines on the back as well. And those, again, are copper nickel brake lines. And also I have a, a regulator, which is that um, brass lump, which is on the front of the rear subframe. Uh, an interesting thing that you might notice here is that I've coiled the brake pipe um, around in a loop. Uh, that's quite important on a Mini because the subframe flexes in relation to the body. And if you don't, if you don't do that, the, 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 um, the brake pipe can suffer fatigue. Uh, and in front of me is my cat, Roxy. She's just interrupted the video. Thank you, Roxy. Um, so that, that's now in place. I now have the handbrake cables um, also in place as well. Um, the radius arms are the original fabricated type of radius arms um, as opposed to the cast type. Um, the radius arm being this, this piece here. And you can see a weld line across there. So it's quite difficult to get hold of these now. They're quite rare items because they're original BMC Moog Mo um, radius arms. Moog were uh, quite a big company in the 60s who manufactured lots of mini parts. So those are the genuine mini uh, Moog radius arms. I've also got new brake um, assemblies, obviously covered over with the drum now. New, new wheel bearings and so on. Also, original uh, suspension struts, trumpets and new suspension um, rubber cones. So all that's new as well. So the running gear I've tried to keep as original as possible, but obviously things like a subframe, because these do corrode on minis, um, I've had to replace that one, unfortunately. You can see now that the paintwork is, um, you know, it's, it's uh, looking good as well, so I'm, I'm really pleased with this car now. Um, so just moving around the other side of the car. Okay, we've got the trunk area. I've also got the battery cable running through. Um, and that runs underneath the car uh, and it tucks uh, in uh, in front of the rear subframe so that was quite tricky to get into place. Um, I've also included these little suspension shock absorber 
um, rubbers on top of on top there. You won't see that one because that will be covered by the fuel tank. But we do um, see this one on the driver's side, which is quite an important feature to have. Okay, so looking underneath the car again, we can see how uh, how it's starting to come together now. Um, now I haven't undersealed the underside of the floor, as you can probably tell. Um, this is only going to be a, a car for summer use, uh, and it won't go out in the rain. And uh, I decided not to underseal it because then it's easy for me to polish and to and to keep immaculate. If I do see any see any stone chips on it, uh, to and from any shows, then I, I uh, any classic car shows I go to, then I will uh, obviously uh, tend to those to repair it. But really, it doesn't need to be undersealed, uh, not for a car uh, which is being restored for show for show show use to, to take to and from shows. Right, there's not really an awful lot more for me to show you. This is actually going to be quite a short video compared to the other five I've made. Um, all I've really got to say is, um, you know, the car is progressing quite well, I think. And um, now what I've also had to do is send the carburetors off, well, the carburetor off for refurbishment. Uh, it's a single SU carburetor on this car. And it's um, an AUC912 uh, SU carburetor. And that's been sent off to Berlin Fuel Systems, who are now um, SU carburetors, and they're really good at restoring carburetors. So now they're taking care of that. The engine, uh, I'll just turn around and show you here. This is the engine which I'm going to have uh, cleaned up a bit more. Um, so that's going to, so it, it is actually running very well. It was the last time I used the car, so that was, that was running great. It may just benefit from being stripped down and, and uh, to be given new gaskets and so on. Uh, but apart from that, I think it's, it's fine. So ho hopefully that will be in the car by the end of summer. So I've got some work to do on there, actually. And, um, okay, so just going to show you a couple of other bits in my garage, which I've got. Um, here we have uh, a couple of drive shafts. And refurbished drive shafts, which I'm going to put into place. I don't know if you can see back here, these are driving flanges for the front front wheels, new driving flanges. So those are going to go onto the car. Um, so that's it really for this video. Um, I guess the next one will be uh, maybe in se several weeks time, maybe two or two or three months or so. Um, but um, I guess uh, that stage the car will be then on its wheels. It'll be off, off this pallet. It'll definitely be on its wheels by then, be rolling. And um, then hopefully assembly will continue to commence so um, anyway thanks for looking at this video and uh, I look forward to showing you video number seven